Michigan improves to 12 and 0 as they defeat the Buckeyes for the first time in Columbus since 2000. After the Ohio State game, on that video of me saying, who doesn't want to be the villain? Love it, man, love it. Who don't want to be the villain, man? 100,000 fans that hate you just, just because of where you play. Mike B's journey, he was put in the ringer, put in the fire, you know, chewed up, spit back out a few times. When I first got here, I came in as a quarterback, but I've always kind of been accustomed to just being physical, being able to play defense. I moved around positions probably four or five times my freshman year. Never flinched, never gave up. Could have said, I don't want to do this no more, but now he didn't, he stuck to it. My first start at Minnesota, I remember thinking, I just need like a big play, like, you know, just to get my name out there. I just need one of those big hits on a quarterback. I remember vividly thinking that on the way to the stadium. He is blindsided. The ball pops into the hands, and Donovan Jeter has a fumble return for a touchdown. Michael Barrett hit Tanner Morgan before he knew it was coming. From that moment in Minnesota, that was kind of like a high moment. Then I got into lows. The year after, we changed defenses. I just had to do a whole restart of kind of what, what I was learning. I wasn't really getting as much play time as I want. Some guys have different paths while they're here in Michigan. Mike Bees hasn't always been that straight path. Credit to him. Wherever Michigan tried or wanted to put him, he was willing and able to go in there and, and try to adapt to whatever this team needed for him to play. This time pass is intercepted. Michael Barrett picked it. Whips it. Hit as he throws and another interception. And guess who? It's Barrett again. The fifth-year senior is having a career night in New Jersey. Just being in that moment, I wanted to be there forever. Empty backfield, and a sack. Michael Barrett with the hit. The fact that I've become the all-time winningest player in Michigan history, it left me speechless when Coach Harbaugh came and told me. Just thinking about all the alumni, all of the great players who've come through here and who've been a part of all of these wins, and to say that I have more wins than every one of them, that's a huge accomplishment. Feel great, man. Feel great to be the villain, man. Hey, be careful who you make the villain, man. That's all I got to say.